Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Today is Sunday. Sunday means DAX Sunday. And every Sunday we bring something new in DAX. And today we are going to start relationship functions in Power BI DAX. There are different kinds of relationship functions like cross filter, related, related table and use relationship DAX functions. And today we are going to discuss about related DAX function. What is related DAX function? How does it work? And how to illustrate it? That means a demo. So very first, related DAX function returns a related value from another table. It's going to look up the related value into another table and gonna give us the result. The syntax for related DAX function is related and the column name, where column name is the column that contains the value you want to retrieve. Related DAX function going to return a single value that is related to the current row. And in today's example, in the demo, we are going to use our adventure works data warehouse tables where in my model you can see that I have uh, four different tables one is fact internet sales table another is dim sales territory table then I have a dim date and dim customer which we are not going to use in today's video so our main focus is on to calculating the sales for non-united states countries and in my dim territory table, I have this sales territory key which is related to the fact internet sales table and there is a one to many relationship which is also considered as the strong relationship. So let's get started. So very first, I am going to show you an example without related DAX function, how we can calculate using the filter function only, sales amount for non-US countries and after that I am going to show the same using the related x function so before starting also i would like to tell you one more thing that i have already one measure which is the total sales and it's using the sum dex function and calculating the total sales amount now we have to create a new measure so let's create a new measure which is based on the filter so i'm gonna give it a name total sales non-us filter so I'm saying it filter because I'm going to use the filter function over there. So what we have to do, we have to use calculate, which are going, which is going to help us in order to evaluate our calculation. So this evaluates an expression in a context modified filters. And now we have to calculate the total sales amount. So I'll say sum of sales amount which is coming from my fact internet sales table close it and now we have to apply the filters so for this one i'm going to apply the filters so for this i'm going to apply the filters on the sales territory key which is in my fact internet sales table as well as in the territory table so i can apply on either of those so i prefer to apply on the fact internet sales table itself and the values for the sales territory key, you should know in advance. If not, I'll show you after writing this text expression. So we are just talking about the United States over here. So we have to exclude the United States country from this one. So what I mean is that we have to write the fact internet sales table. And here is the sales territory key, which should not be equal to one and end. either you can hit enter or you can just click on this button over here what i'm doing over here i'm just calculating sum of total sales amount and filtering the table where my sales territory keys are not in one two three four and five now let's check our table what are the keys of one two three four five why i am excluding them or why i'm filtering it out So you will notice that United States is for 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 
that is the reason i have uh, filtered them out because we don't need any data related to united states now we have created our measure so let's drag our measure into the main table the very first table and here you will see it would take some time because it would take time to process the data because we are using four different filters over here so you can clearly see that over here we have the same values apart from that its formatting is different so you can even make the same formatting for three places and make it as a thousand separator so now you will see exactly the same values except for the united states because we have filtered it out now this was the one example in this case but now what if we use the related x function and how we can use it so in order to relate uh, use the related x function we have to go here either you can create the measure itself from here or you can also create a new measure from here and i'm going to name as a total sales using related dax function for non us countries and how we can write this function so very first we have to understand that there is a context of the row context and for that we will use the sum x which is going to use the table and the expression in our case table would be the data that we are going to filter it out using filter function the filter function always returns your table so we'll use a filter over here and what we are going to filter we are going to filter the fact internet sales table now we are you we are filtering the fact internet sales table and for that we will use the related index function which is going to returns a related value from another table so another table means over here is the dim sales territory table and where we have a column named countries so here you can see dim sales territory and there is a sales territory country this is going to be our table which is coming from the filtered expression and now this should not be equals to united states here we can directly write united states and once you will write the united states then you can write your expression which is to calculate the sum so total sales amount so i'll write sales amount which is coming from my fact internet sales table and close it so once again what we are doing we are using sum x over here sum x would use one table which is going to come till here because filter function always returns your table and in the filter function we are using related which is going to look up a value for a particular row over here we are just mentioning that the country name should not be equal to the united states so that's how it would consider all the sales amount where country name in the dim sales territory table is not equal to the united states and going to give us the required amount and bring this in this second table and you will see exactly the same amount or the same calculation is being returned and there is no value in front of the united states because we have already filtered this out the first approach was counter intuitive prone to typing errors and might not work if any of the existing regions is split in the future because where we use the sales territory key we can see again in this one we were using the sales territory key so if uh, there are going to be multiple regions in future then it's not going to work and also it was bit slow so definitely there can be performance issues with that in case of second one this expression uses the related function to look up the country value in the sales territory table starting with the value of the key column sales territory key in the internet sales table the result of the lookup is used by filter function to determine the internet sales row is filtered or not and that's how we are getting this value if there is already a relationship existing between these two tables so i believe related dex function is more useful as compared to using our different filter functions over there before wrapping up the session there there are a few points that you should remember while working on this related dex function the very first point is the related function requires that a relationship exists between the current table and the table with the related information you specify the column that contains the data that you want 
and the function follows an ex existing many to one relationship to fetch the value from the specified column in the related table. If a relationship does not exist, you must create a relationship, otherwise this is not going to work. Secondly, when the related function performs a lookup, it examines all the values in the specified table, regardless of any filters that may have been applied. Thirdly, the related function needs a row context. Therefore, it can only be used in calculated column expression, where the current row context is unambiguous or as a nested function in an expression that uses the table scanning function. And lastly, the related function cannot be used to fetch a column across a weak relationship where many to many relationship is always considered as weak relationship and one to many relationship is always considered as a strong relationship. I hope you like today's video. If you have any concern or issues while using related dex function or any other dex function, please do let us know in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest videos.